Hi everyone, I'm Srishti. I'm joining today from Sunnyvale in California. And in this showcase, I have a friend, Suchakra, who is joining me as well. We both code an unstructured studio where we develop tools, activities, and resources to engage children from underserved communities in creative learning experiences. It is our first time participating in CLS, and we are very happy to be here today with you all. Hi, I'm Suchakra, and I'm joining today from Toronto, Canada. Uh, so our organization is based in Canada, and we mainly operate in India as of now. Our work revolves around the research done at MIT Media Lab's Lifelong Kindergarten Group, uh, especially their unique approach to learning, uh, which they call as the four P's of creative learning. And here the four P's stand for uh, projects, passion, peers, and play. Uh, we totally love this, and especially the fact that this approach, uh, teachers can say, come on kids, gather around, it's time to study. And the kids are not going to roll their eyes uh, anymore because at least there is play involved. We want to introduce you to a new showcasing and collaboration platform that we have developed for creative educational projects. It is called Zubhub, and the idea behind this platform is to expand low-cost creative learning and collaboration opportunities for children in underserved communities worldwide and cultivate the essential 4C skills of the 21st century. To give you a sense of who is our target audience and how they will benefit from Zubhub, let me share with you a story. So this is Shalini. She comes from a low-income family household. She's based in the state of Gujarat in India, and her entire family relies on a single computing device with limited mobile data. So during the pandemic, Shalini's father lost their job at a shoe store and he brought home these empty cardboard boxes on his tricycle that you can see on the right. And you can imagine that for Shalini coming from a low income family household, she could not participate in any educational activity that involved high costs during this time. But lucky enough, Shalini learned about our Zabha platform on one of her community learnings WhatsApp group. You may or may not know this, but WhatsApp is the communication platform which has heavily penetrated rural India over the last few years. On Zabhub, our intent is primarily to inspire children with a collection of activity ideas, get them to tinker with t materials and tools around them, and then encourage them also to share their creations with others. Shalini got quite excited to discover an activity idea on our platform. All that required was the use of cardboard boxes. She then picked an activity idea, which was about building a light story box that can animate various objects and project them on the wall, but also help her to narrate stories from her experiences of surviving the COVID-19 pandemic. As you can see in the visuals and the slides on the right, Shalini was probably very sad for the most part. And then she spent rest of her time playing cricket with the family members and watching a lot of TV at home and so on. So finally, Shalini documented her project both in the written as well as video format and showcased it on the Zabha platform to which she received appreciation in the form of likes, claps and comments and during the course of this entire activity, we clearly observed how her confidence level significantly went up all this time. And this is exactly the kind of learning experience that we hope to design for and bring equitable access to the communities that we are serving. And guess what? You know, this is the feedback that we received from Shalini after the activity where she says, that I have made things before, but I have not made or shared videos before. This is the first time I uploaded a video and shared it. Whatever I make in school, my teachers create videos out of it and help with documentation. But this time, I like sharing my project documentation with teachers and other children in the WhatsApp chat and seeing their reactions to it. So this is exactly why the communication and sharing piece is so dear to us in the entire project, 
because in the communities that we are serving, the approach to teaching and learning is still quite passive in nature. And with our tool, we are hoping that we will break the cycle. Now, uh, you might be wondering how Zabhub is different from some of the other documentation and showcasing platforms that you may have come across, and those are the ones which are quite popular in the Western world. And there are tons of them, and some of them you may be using actually. So, for example, DIY.org, Flipgrid, Instructables, Padlet, Seesaw, and many others. The thing is that our target demographic, which is children and educators in under-resourced settings in rural India, uh, for them, these platforms might not be as relevant. In these settings, uh, there are limited resources, uh, there's limited capacity of teachers, and often very low internet connectivity. Above all, uh, creative education is far less of a priority in these traditional classrooms, as even the numeracy and literacy goals sometimes go unmet. Um, Therefore, uh, there's a clear opportunity here to make creativity more accessible to everyone. Now, what makes Zubhub unique from other platforms is that it is completely free and open source. There is no subscription required to use it. Uh, we have designed it in a manner that it can be configured for offline use, for example, uh, for libraries, after schools and other learning centers. And finally, educational organizations can also request custom installation of Zubhub if they want to build and manage a community around their own content. We already have an organization in India that started using custom Zubhub and hundreds of children are using their platform currently. Then, the content piece is all also very essential here. In this regard, Zubhub is unique as it focuses on developing low-cost, culturally relevant activities in collaboration with local artists, makers, and educators. There are many STEM kits that are quite popular in online marketplaces in India, but note that uh, some of them seem to not be accessible and affordable to a target audience. So, we are trying to design these activities in a manner that any child can engage in creativity using locally available materials. And these activities are open-ended, playful, and exploratory in nature. We want to also make translation available in multiple languages in the future. As you might be knowing that in India, almost every state has their own language, and there are about 28 of them. So localization is a very crucial part of this project. We have introduced Zubhub to hundreds of children and educators in underserved regions with help from our on-ground partners so far. And uh, we are constantly developing the platform with the help of diversity in tech initiatives such as Out Outreachy. But having said that, uh, we would also like to understand if there is any scope of Zubhub in educational landscape in North America itself. Uh, with that, we have a couple of questions to the educators in the room. Uh, first, we would like to understand how would you use a tool like Zubhub in a classroom or an after-school setting? And second, where do you see the gaps and opportunities for us to build upon uh, this further? Uh, are there any things that we could enhance and uh, develop for you? Uh, we would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, and if you would like to use Zubhub or see an opportunity for us to collaborate, uh, please say hello to us at hello at unstructured.studio. Uh, we have also prepared a short demo for you. Uh, you may now watch it to learn how to use Zubhub. Thank you for listening.